I'm going to go to phone calls right when we start the next hour. And then I'll get into Obama's vacations and bombings all over the Middle East and what's happening with the economy and looting of bank accounts uh, all over the world, not just in Cyprus. Oh, we'll take 10%. We'll take 20%. We'll take 47.5% now of everybody's private bank account and give it to offshore banks. Yeah, that's what Reuters is reporting. Uh, how far will tyrants take you to wherever you'll put up with? I mean, it's real simple. Criminals and, and control freaks will take advantage of you until good people stand up and say no. But this is such a big story. And, you know, if I didn't have dedicated writers uh, working five, six, seven days a week like a Don Salazar, I, I'm not really a great writer when it comes to sitting down. I mean, I can do it. It just takes me a lot of time. But, I, I, you know, I wrote this article over several hours on Saturday with a Don Salazar, and we got it out, and now it's national news. And the system thought it would ignore it, but it can't do that anymore. It's a big deal when the Under Secretary of Defense, the head of public affairs for the Department of Defense, comes out and says, we've got to stop lying. We've lost the people. And, and everyone in the PSYOPs uh, division, both civilian and in the military, looks completely freaked out. you got to go watch this video. And they get up and say, I want to stop lying. I want to stop covering things up. You mean we can really tell the truth? It's just amazing. And we'll see if they start telling the truth more, but we'll see if we support them when they tell the truth. Or will we just sit there and say they're a traitor? <sighs> Before I end this hour, I also want to just tell you, we need to be supported here. And we have been supported by your prayers and by people visiting InfoWarsStore.com and getting the films, the books, the T-shirts, the, the InfoWars magazine. All of it. Every time you purchase something from InfoWarsStore.com, you are literally buying war bonds in the battle for this republic. eFoods Direct is there with discounts at InfoWarsStore.com. It's all there. The ProPure water filtration system, the best gravity-fed systems out there, <clears throat> bar none, impregnated with colloidal silver in the filters. It's just, it's just heads above. Well, really, it's light years above the competition. I'm sorry. That's why I went with them because I looked at all the specs, used it for a year. Just it blows the competition away. 10% off with promo code WATER, the lowest prices anywhere on the web on ProPure, and a bunch of other great systems as well. We, we carry several others, but I believe they're the best for the price. InfoWarsStore.com, promo code WATER to get 10% off. Uh, and, and again, we don't fund ourselves with Ritalin and Luvox ads here like the globalists do. We fund it by selling good products, good clean water at, at the lowest prices. InfoWarsStore.com. And finally, make the commitment before the month of July ends. Don't wait anymore to go to InfoWarsHealth.com and get the new Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0 Citrus Peach Fusion, the ultimate multivitamin mineral complex. You can sign up and get free shipping when you sign up for auto shipping at InfoWarsHealth.com. We've also got the Beyond Osteo FX new product on the incredible Osteo FX that's powdered and quicker and easier to put in water and drink. Uh, we've got... Uh, what a lot of NFL guys are using and linked on the site. You can read about them. Ultimate CM Plus for joints. I think it's over 400 products now. The very best, InfoWarsHealth.com. We'll also give you the toll-free uh, number uh, that is uh, up on the site uh, for anybody that wants to be able to go to the site and uh, order online. You can do that or you can call 888 888-888-888. 7899277 or you can simply again go to infowarshealth.com but don't procrastinate and your purchase supports the transmission and they, they have the old fashioned beyond tangy tangerine that almost all of it was non gmo organic but it's so hard to certify it that it wasn't certified with everything and still the old ones available and i like it and use it the new one i mean nobody has hundreds of products and has this but they've been able to do it uh, getting one thing certified is so hard. The new Beyond Tangy Tangerine at InfoWarsHealth.com. We're going to be getting into the collapse of the big lie, the collapse of the electronic psychological Berlin Wall the establishment's tried to set up around the minds of the people. We're going to get into very important economic news, very important police state news, uh, but it's open phones, and I want to go to your phone calls right now. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. And John in Texas, thanks for calling. You're on the air, sir. Hi, Alex. Hey, buddy. 
uh, about six months ago, I read an article about the Soviet takeover of the Baltic countries in 1940. And they said, they described, the people there described what they did. They said the first thing they did there was they set up a surveillance system where they tapped into everybody's phone calls. All phone calls were monitored. They set up a neighborhood stitch program. They said that they, they seized all the bank accounts. They said if you had 4000 in a bank account, they took three and gave you 1000 They said everybody got a job there, but it was just enough to pay, the, 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 to pay their rent and to put food on the table. They couldn't go anywhere. They couldn't better themselves. They were just they were just surviving, and that was it. No, that's right. That that's what authoritarians, whether they be fascist or communist, going back to Rome, they just called it you know being enslaved. Is you domesticate by making people dependent. You shut them down. You surveil them, and every form of tyranny that has been invented is now being deployed against us. And the military, the police, uh, everybody. Uh, needs to know this. And and within the Department of Defense, the reason they've allowed them to come out and announce they're going to stop lying to us is to try to get credibility with the public so they can, quote, have psyops work with all local uh, and alternative media. They realize the citizen media is there. They're going to try to take it down by being embedded like they've done before, but also convince their own psyop people that they're still doing a moral operation. And so it's very sophisticated, but it shows a collapse level in that a lot of times they try to take over like this, if the society, the host society, throws it off, it can be an awakening for people. That's what I'm saying. We don't have to just go marching off in, into the night. I mean, I'm sorry, Romania has never really had freedom. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Poland really did never have freedom before the Soviets took over. It had feudalism. I'm sorry, Russia never had freedom. It had feudalism under the czars. We are a little bit different. And we've sure got, we're corrupt. We've got a lot of big problems. But I'm telling you. We're not turning our guns in. This is tyranny. And if you want 1776 to start again, globalist, stage your terror attacks, try to start your fight, try to come arrest us all, you're going to lose. The military is going to end up siding with us, and we're going to come arrest you. And we're going to turn all the military machinery against you. We're going to go dig you out of your holes overseas. Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, all of you. You want? I mean, I'm telling you, military, even if you're evil, this is going to destroy your future. They're going to take your pension funds. When they're done using you to destroy everybody, they're going to destroy you. And you know that. You know there's no honor among thieves and evil. So it's time to pull back now. I'll go ahead and finish up any points you got, sir. Oh, that other things that the, all the government officials listen in there. You need to go back and study the Soviet system because they always turn on each other. I mean, uh, most of the, the original Bolsheviks, Stalin killed them all. I mean, Leon Trotsky and all his followers were all annihilated. I mean, the system they set up turns and it just eats their own. And, and let's get and this straight. They are taking the exact tyranny, souping them up and deploying them and saying they're deploying it, saying they've got purges ready and, and re-education centers ready. You know, even using those type of terms to why mainline it, emerge it, make it no big deal. Uh, get people to to accept it when they're getting ready to try to use it is when they've got to legitimize it. But uh, people need to understand that, the, and this this thing happened in Russia. It happened in all the communist countries. They all turn it. They all turn on each other. Cambodia with the Khmer Rouge, Mao, his followers, a lot of followers in the culture revolution were annihilated. I mean, it's just it's, it's part of the system, and that's the system. No, that's right. When you let authoritarian crooks come in. They want to kill and murder. I mean, you're, you're just you're just opening the door in your little petty power trip to the end of you and your family. Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of 
planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal, and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow, uh, plum trees, grape trees, they will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit Lovers with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. <laughs> It's the top story on Infowars.com and one of the top stories on DrudgeReport.com. And I've been talking about it a lot in the last hour because it's, it's incredibly important. Last week, to no mainstream media coverage, last Thursday, the head of DOD Public Affairs and PSYOPs, Under Secretary Little, came out and said, we've got to stop lying to the public, we've lost credibility. We're now going to help stop the lies by going and working with all the local blogs that have the credibility because the mainstream media doesn't have the credibility. And the first one we want to work with, basically, is the Drudge Report. We want to help you. Uh, yeah, they're like, we don't want people to get their news from Drudge after we've been caught lying. We want them to get it from us. So we're going to quit lying to have credibility. The, po the reason they've gotten to this point is that the, all the numbers show it. Mainstream media has no credibility. Congress has a 10% approval rating. Obama's losing five points a week, even with his constituents that bought into him like it was buying into a Madonna or Michael Jackson, a celebrity. People are really getting it. And they're learning that in most areas of the country, we've been in a depression since 2008. And things aren't getting better, they're getting worse. And they're shutting our power plants down and moving our jobs overseas, paying to move them, not just letting them go. 
And so there is the big rude awakening, and this is the time when government's in free fall and the corrupt interests are in free fall for them to stage a false flag terror attack or let terrorists attack us to try to take our liberties. They've put in and are trying to normalize now. Obama is going to give you text messages about politics over your phone. Everyone I know, including myself. In fact, I'm living in such a twilight zone that a few weeks ago I woke up at like 6 a.m. with a bzzz. And then bzz, later, when I didn't check the text message, I have it on my phone, a text message uh, from my provider from the White House. And it was, you know, telling me about things Obama was doing for the economy. And now, remember, I'd tell you about the plans to have the government send you text messages a decade ago because they were talking about it then and break in over radio and TV and take over all the media systems and uh, force all the Internet browsers to a government message. You're like, that's crazy. That won't happen. I'm like, no, here's the here's the documents. Now it's, oh, yeah, when there's a flu, we're going to tell you. Or when the president's got an initiative, he's going to text you. And now they're going, and you know what? We're going to break in and turn your phone on and make you get the messages. And we're going to uh, break in with video messages. And, oh, it won't just be Obama. It'll be the head of Homeland Security, Big Sis. And they put them in. They said 860-something Walmarts got the federal money. But last time I checked, it was only a handful put them in because it was still too freaky. Texas, Minnesota, California, we've gotten videos that our reporters have shot. And a listener um, also sent us footage in Minnesota at a super Walmart of the big sis. We've shown it on the news saying, hi, big sis with you know, Janet Napolitano here. Um, if you see something, say something. You see something? Okay. Uh, yeah, I see a tyrannical government mirroring what the Soviets did, but high tech taking over. Yeah. I mean, this is the this is the type of of just cuckoo crazy stuff. There's another longer video of it. I think it was the the St. Uh, Silver Bowl. You know that reporter. Um, he uh, got it at the checkout counters. Actually, has all the audio. With her, I mean, imagine you're checking out and there's big TVs going, watch each other, don't trust anybody, but me, okay. This is absolute tyranny. And I'm going to go to your phone calls, then get back into it. And then just look at Obama on all of his big lavish vacations while he says you shouldn't be able to have air conditioning or a car. They want to make you poor to control you. And the last caller, John out of Texas, talked about knowing people that had been through and, and, and knowing people who'd been... In, in the government who had, who had also witnessed Soviet psyops when they took over Eastern Bloc countries. First, they set up a spy grid, then a citizen spy grid. Then they demonized the independent press. They demonized the family. I mean, they just go down the list, folks. When you turn on MSNBC, it's something 60 years ago, you'd get in a mal re-education camp, but it, but it would be on film reels. You know, Red Dawn tries to illustrate a re-education camp. They got them at the sports stadium with newsreels 24-7, getting people to turn on each other, breaking down the society, finding out who will work with them. And now the new Army Field Manual, just type in Army Field Manual Re-Education Camp, 2010 says, Re-Education Camp, that, we're, that they're going to take political dissidents, people that don't agree with the new federal family, are going to be taken to be re-educated. And that is a Soviet term. They didn't say taken to be uh, prepared to be reentered into society or sensitivity training, which is a Soviet term, too. No, it's they use the Soviet term so the military just gets used to it. And then it comes out, they're training contractors to kill peaceful protesters. And it comes out, they're training. Of course they're doing this, folks. This is an, an, an attempt to get the military and police to carry out criminal actions. And I don't want to shoot in war, folks. If they start shooting peaceful protesters... Gloves are off, folks, and the military and police better join the people at that point. Uh, not if they know what's good for them. You're going to lose. I've looked at all the angles. You're, you will lose. But you'll lose by joining the pure evil. Uh, I mean, th this is not like it's even debatable at this point. I know I'm ranting. I said I go to calls. Let's just do it right now. Uh, it's just such a big deal that we're now at the point 
where they're announcing, yes, the Army is going to be engaged in domestic psyops at point-blank range against the American people. But don't worry, we come in peace, we're going to tell you the truth. And all those psyops people in uniform were just look completely freaked out. A, they're going to engage in stuff that's been illegal until last week, because Obama says it's okay now. It's, they know it's already been going on covertly, so they're like, well, what does this even do to announce it? And now we're not going to lie anymore? They all, full, what, they all know about trillions missing from the Pentagon, sex slavery being run by the contractors, the drugs being flown in on the C-130s. None of those people are stupid. And they're all there just going, wow, we really work for the dark side. America's really been taken over. And the people now know it. But the psyops run by Hollywood have demoralized the general public to the point of they know but are still so degenerate that most of them won't resist. I mean, it is a mess, folks. But at least we know what we're going into. We're not going to be caught flat-footed in any of this. But the fact that Infowars.com, the things we talk about, are now mainstream news really shows that there's a crisis of conscience happening, and this is very positive overall. And analyzing the undersecretary and analyzing the generals and analyzing the, you know, the Air Force TV producers that got up with tears in their eyes and said, I don't like lying to people. They don't believe us anymore. I want to tell the truth. And the undersecretary says, well, we're going to work on that and, and try. Because, see, imagine they know PSYOPs in there. They know what I'm talking about is true. They know how much trouble we're in. And they're like, well, I didn't sign on to work for Stalin or Hitler. But it's not one guy you can go after like Hitler in Operation Valkyrie. I wish that was the case. It's a demonic system, a, a corrupt society. The globalists have been smart about this. They do it by committee. And we're just living in times that are so incredible, it makes my head spin. That's all I can say here. And the most awake group is the military. The next most awake group, if you believe it or not, are police. Because they're, they know the bull. They know they're told a lot of people. They know the system's getting corrupt. They know the argument is, well, we're under attack. Things are collapsing. We've got to do it. But now they realize we're not lying to try to fix freedom and, 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 and have a free society. We're lying to help the corrupt continue. And that's right. We need to let it all come out, folks. And even if America collapses, that's better than going into a hyper-tyranny for, for all of us. And I don't even want that to happen. I want to just convert away from tyranny, back to the republic, prosecute the globalist. But even if they just would leave the country, the problem is they're not going to stop. they got to be dealt with. We've been hijacked by foreign banks. We've been usurped. Uh, those aren't terms. That's a fact. Those aren't, that's not rhetoric, folks. The globalists brag there's been a corporate takeover. It's illegitimate. It's illegal. We got a clean house. And I don't like being the tip of the spear, but it's my duty. Let's go to Joe in New Jersey. You're on the air. Welcome, sir. Hi, uh, Alex Jones. Um, I want to be careful here because I don't want to be disrespectful. And I don't want you to think I'm questioning you. I'm questioning the system. You yourself are stating how the level of psyops and tyranny goes beyond the bounds that we can even comprehend. Couldn't it be possible for a psyop to be placed against the target dissidents that you were discussing in the form of a radio show like InfoWars? Now, I, I, what I wanted to do is because I'm not like these other people who just try and badmouth you. Uh, I want you to be Oh, you mean the private PSYOP companies that we've proven attack us 24-7 on record saying we're government agents? Exactly. I'm not like that. I want you to be with Well, just ask your question, not... sir. I don't care if you ask me a question. Go ahead. Well, I don't want you to, I don't want to put you on... Well, no, no, no. Let me stop you right there because this, this is the thing. I don't screen your calls. But then everybody wants me to screen their calls on air. And a PSYOP show would be screening calls. But this is about changing the subject over to Alex Jones. Quite frankly, if weak-minded people want to think I'm an operative or something, they're welcome to it because they've never counted anyways. I'm looking for men and women who want justice and freedom and who are intelligent to try to restore the republic. And I'm here promoting the Bill of Rights, Constitution, transparency, and not having a civil war and that our government's running Al-Qaeda, and that our government's illegitimate, any moron would know that I'm not a PSYOP. If I'm a PSYOP, I am the organic resistance to tyranny. 
And so th there's never any proof of a PSYOP. I mean, my enemies will come to an event I've put on, tell me to leave my own event, shoot deceptive angles as if I've crashed my own event, to then say that I go crashing events when I could go speak to 5,000 people next week if I wanted to. They do PSYOPs like sit behind me and yell, kill Michelle Malkin and have the national news ready to run that I say, said kill Michelle Malkin. They run hoaxes and say that I said Obama sent a tornado to the thing. They have the, the globalist attacking me, trying to bring me down, running dirty tricks you couldn't believe. And then you call in and say, what if your show's a PSYOP? Let's just stop right there. For your mind, let me explain how a PSYOP works, okay? There's many different types. The ultimate PSYOP in the cognitive infiltration of Cass Sunstein that he wrote about six years ago at Harvard, five years ago at Chicago Business School, and four years ago at the White House, and then two years ago as its regulations are, and in public speeches and the rest of it, was to create fake alternative media to claim they were conspiracy theorists, people that question, go read it, to fight with each other and claim all the real people are agents so that there's no clear leadership to make the debate about who's real in the movement, classic divide and conquer, instead of let's get foreign banks out of America, let's stop having them shut down our power plants, let's stop having them ship General Motors to China with taxpayer money, 21 billion. Let's get the federal government out of education and out of our churches. Let's stand up for free speech. Let's keep our police local. Let's have a states' rights movement to block Obamacare, which is starting to happen. Let's give people that they can believe in each other and have an option from tyranny and collectivism. Let's keep our families together. Let's not abort babies. The vaccines are dangerous. GMO is dangerous. Filter your water. I mean, my God, if I'm a PSYOP, then the PSYOP's good. What is your major problem? I don't mind someone calling in, but there's no evidence, and it's a pure distraction. Now, you got one minute, and I got to go to other people. Go ahead. I do not want to dismiss There he any goes. Boom, 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 boom. Give me the proof of the PSYOP, man. The PSYOP is I got red blood. You got it? Come on, come on, come on. There's a thing called, you, it's, uh, you have to state to the public audience what you're going to do. By you reading from the AP, from the news sources that are already designed and designated uh, illegitimate, you're doing nothing but by perpetrating the false spin story that is already being put out there by these news sources. There's a thing called Mind Wars written in 1980, which specifically details your radio show. It specifically details your show, man. Your show's named InfoWars. I don't want to, I want you to be legit, but there's legitimate issues there, man. There are real things that I don't want you to have to try and answer this now. Take your time, research it. And then <laughs> research it, okay. Wow, how would I research if, if I was a PSYOP? How would I research that? I know I'm not. I, I, and I hope you're not, and I, I actually believe you're not. That's what I'm saying. I'm almost trying to give you the opportunity because you talk about infighting so much. Well, there's the truth movement. I don't know if you've noticed. It's split up between people who believe Alex Jones and who don't believe Alex Jones. Yeah, no, that's the PSYOP. Look, look, I appreciate your call, and I'll let you talk some because you actually made a couple points. Uh, and the issue is, do you understand, sir, the PSYOP is that now we're going to debate Alex Jones and is, is, is he for real instead of the fact that the mainstream media has lost all credibility and the states are moving to try to defend our Second Amendment and everything else. It's amazing. And it's very, very sad. And then people always say the same thing. Respond to every fake claim so that my show becomes a response to fake claims and not about the news and the issues and how the world works. Of course I'll take a White House transcript and show how they're lying and post the transcript and then say where they're lying. Of course I take a video. I see that in the comments. Why are you showing Obama and his propaganda? Well, I show Obama saying you know, that uh, he wouldn't hire any lobbyists three times here, and then I show him right below it, hiring record lobbyists. I mean, it's almost like childlike, like, uh, like uh, uh, the only PSYOP I can be guilty of is misgaging the public by thinking people are like me. And I've admitted this. And I've tried to think of where I help the system, because nothing's perfect, and undoubtedly, the, the system's not one monolithic thing either. That's a PSYOP as well. But I, I realize that when I get up here and talk about all this horrible news sometimes, for people that are scared and not empowered, it may make them give up and have learned helplessness.
But, but, but I believe in standing against a threat. I mean, you know, some guy comes and starts to fight with me, I try to defuse it, but they start swinging, I start stomping their butt in the ground. I mean, I, it's not, so I, I don't like roll over and, and show my belly, folks. And, and so I'm, I mean, what you're getting is an American fighting stance that's as Americana as anything's ever been, or is just free human. <laughs> and I go in, again, th that's the PSYOP. And, you know, I'm sitting there with Vic Vreeland, a firefighter. <clears throat> he comes up to the station. I'm friends with him. He has an access TV show. He comes up to KJFK in 1996, late 1996. And he goes, you need a website. Come over to my house. I'd had dinner there before with him and his wife. And his kids were growing up. And I haven't had Vic Vreeland on it forever. And I, and I go over to his house and Petey, oh, that old parrot died. I was real sad to hear Petey died. I haven't seen Vic Vreeland in years, and I'm having dinner with him and his wife, and he says, I'm going to set up a website for you. And we sat around for a couple hours thinking, what's a name? What's a name? What's a name? And I, of course, I've read so many history books and things. I said, well, we need to, you know, call it InfoWars. And he said, yeah, because there's a war on for your mind. He'd also been in the Air Force. Firefighters in town know Vic Vreeland. He was a singer, uh, a uh, senior firefighter when he retired. He had just about retired then. Last time I heard he retired out to Bastrop or something. Hey, we get Vic Vreeland on. That was a great guy, man. That was a great guy. And uh, I think he'd even filled in a few times for like Tom Valentine, that great Patriot talk show host. But... Uh, I remember sitting there while Petey, while Petey sat on my lap and I fed him peanuts. Big old cockatoo. <laughs> and, they, and we had a good Italian dinner over there. Uh, I think it was his wife was Italian. But the point was, or maybe Freeland is, I don't remember. And I sat there and that's where InfoWars came from. And, and then I sit there and here's some guy, you know, because back then people weren't getting good domain names. And, then I, and now the whole show gets taken over by that. It's very painful. It's very, very sad. But it's not just psyops. People are jealous of success. And so you can be a big man if you make something up about Alex Jones. That I'm Bill Hicks. That I work for the Vatican when I'm not even Catholic. Nothing against Catholics. I'm attacked because that because I don't attack Catholics. Uh, or that I work for the Masons. Or that I work for... And, and then I'll get up on air and say, I've had family that were Masons, high level, and they said, don't become part of it. And then that proves I'm a Mason because high level Masons in my family have said there's some pretty bad stuff in it at the highest levels. And, or I say I've had family in the army recruited by the CIA who got out of it saying it was really bad. And then that's the proof I'm CIA. I mean, how do you expect whistleblowers to ever come out or ever say anything if when they do, you go, you must be a psyop. You don't know how to judge things. And I guess it's a wrecked fluoride head population. I get that, but I'm not going to be diverted off that. I answered your question. Um, I mean, let's say I was a bad guy, which I'm not, you know, on my children. That means nothing in front of God, but God knows. Isn't, isn't it about you? What are you doing to go warn people when they say it's the law every year in every public school system to take vaccines? They give them five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen shots at a time, and kids actually pass out when they're doing thousands of inoculations. They may have twenty people go to the hospital. They have ambulances standing by. Kids go into the third round of shots when they're eighteen months, have convulsions in the hospital. Are you there warning people? Do you walk up to pregnant women and warn them in stores? Because you know what I do, and not because I'm some goody two shoe. I'm worried about that kid. Do you go and warn people about fluoride in the water? Do you go and warn them about GMO? Do you go and, and warn people about how dangerous the CPS is? Or that, hey, are, you're pregnant, you kind of look like hippie type folks. Are you going to have that baby in a hospital? Yeah, we are in the next few weeks. Well, if you smoked any pot in the last month, they're going to test your blood, tell you it's a blood test, not tell you, and take your kid on the spot, 100%. Really? Uh, I don't smoke a lot of pot, but I've had a little bit. Yeah, well, you better midwife that baby right now. I mean, that's what I do. That's what I do, because I love humanity, and I don't want to see people persecuted. And all you can do is call in and ask me if I'm a psyop and why you show news articles. Well, what does that even mean? And, and, and so, so, so there you go. So let me just say this so you can feel good. I'm a bad government operative. You're a good person. We've established you're better than me.
You, you, you smoke me out. Now, what are you going to do to go warn people? What are you going to do to help them? I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. You know, I'm actually glad that guy called, but it's like calling up and going, how do we know you're not a rapist? Or how do we know you're not robbing banks? Or how do we know you're not got children buried in a basement in your house? I mean, it's, 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 it's like fighting words. But don't you expect if there was an Alex Jones, a guy who for 18 years climbed up through little bitty radio stations and, you know, uh, today is on mom and pops across the country and has been able to you know, get people nationwide really talking about the tyranny we're going into. The globalists haven't fully taken over yet. And we're desperately trying to hold it back, trying to keep the gate shut. They're climbing over. And people are like, how do you know there's something behind that gate? That's one half the population, you know, that's in denial. And the other half that's in denial is like, how do we know you're not one of them? And I'm like, I'm holding this gate back. Get up here and help me. And spears are coming through it and fireballs are coming over the top of the deal. And they're standing around going, no, I say you're with the army on the other side. You judge a tree by its fruits. And I think that guy just was uninformed. But a lot of the people pushing that line are definitely for the other side. I say the people holding the gate up are actually with the enemy. How about we arrest them and leave no one at the gate? How dare that person fighting the new world order? I bet he's one of them. You judge a tree by its fruits. How many globalist operations have we blown wide open and damaged? How much do they hate us? How much do they lie about me, trying to destroy me? Believe me, you know who knows I'm for real? God knows, but the New World Order knows, too. Let me tell you what. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. But, folks, don't even defend me. I've said this many times to my listeners. Do not defend me on YouTube and Infowars.com and other sites. Don't feed the trolls. Find an issue that you've researched that you know is accurate. Warn other people. Get involved. Fight the New World Order. The globalists want to divide and conquer us. We teach this over and over again. It's common sense. It's history. Everybody already knows that. And Cass Sunstein said, we're going to go in and say everybody in the truth movement's a government agent. I'll be honest with you. Most of them are not government agents that are infighting. They're just jealous, envious, screwed up, bad products of this society. Narcissists that are into this to try to be stars, not into liberty for the great animating contest for a future for their children because their very guts, their very sinew, their very cells, their very soul, their very stamp. Their very essence is to be free and to be just outraged by manifest corruption. If I see big purple green clouds on a spring day and funnel clouds spinning, I don't need to get my iPhone now and look and see if there's tornadoes forming. I know to try to get to shelter because I've grown up around tornadoes in Dallas, Texas. Saw them every year with my eyeballs. That's why when I hear there's more tornadoes, I look up the numbers, they're 60 year low. I hardly ever see them now. I saw them all the time when I was a kid. Don't believe me, the media, National Weather Service says 60-year low for tornadoes. But the point is, I've seen it. I, I know it. People know common sense when they see it. And the globalists just want to change the subject to like, uh, uh, you know, he's talking about cancer viruses and vaccines and telling you, you know, it's declassified, look it up, which you can do in five seconds. He's a Vatican assassin. Charlie Sheen admitted it. And then people go, well, prove you're not a Vatican assassin. Charlie Sheen said, you and he are Vatican assassins. Folks, uh, Charlie Sheen uh, is a comic person. 
and we've sat around at his house many times. His favorite form of entertainment is also one of mine. I don't do it now because it's, it's bad. I've repented of it. Is watching attack videos because they're so funny. Watching schizophrenics on YouTube. Because the, the, there are a lot of schizophrenics now that never before had a venue to a, to a newspaper, basically. That's part of this new free press, you know. Some would argue that's what I am, but we know I'm just basically eccentric and I think I have high intelligence, obviously, and have studied some history. But, I mean, it, it's, it's entertaining to watch schizophrenics that think, you know, the water meter reader is a CIA agent outside their house and to sit there and watch it. It's, it's funny to watch people, you know, you know, saying that I'm really a reptoid or Bill Hicks. I mean, it's, it's funny until the, you realize the family's upset about it. It's very painful to the Hicks family that people have actually contacted them and, said we know your son's not dead and stuff like that but 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 the, you know when he's buried and, and i've talked to him and they were there when he died and it was very sad and you know you, that's the type of stuff going on out there because the establishment's lost all credibility they're a pack of liars now the dumbed down mass that at least had the rudder of mainstream media to believe that now they don't know what's true so they're just making up what's true for whatever they want i mean if i tell you about the cia i've read dozens of books on it and studied it and watched congressional hearings or if i tell you i know about gmo i've interviewed let's not exaggerate hundreds of experts and doctors and genetic engineers and top scientists and patent holders on you know some of the top gmo out there that they, that they tell you does kill the rodents that eat it and 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 just constant research and living it and so i don't blame a, a dumbed down mass out there that's smart enough to know they're being lied to but not smart enough to figure out what's going on Cass sunstein says well we'll just get them all fighting with each other We'll go in, we'll put out fake conspiracy theories. We will just muddy the water so much and we'll get everybody fighting with each other and we'll target our real opposition by saying they're feds. Go read it. So that then the whole debate becomes about that. And, and, it, and, and it's effective if you don't, in fact, all people say that was a psyop, him letting that guy be on. Well, no, it's not because I then used it as a teaching moment. That's what I do. From my perspective, doesn't mean I have all the answers. First, I go through anger, then I go through sadness, then I just go through analyzing it and covering it for the person because it's painful to realize that there are millions of minds shuttered who will now be completely nasty their whole life, believing anyone that resists tyranny is the worst. Because you notice half the radio shows, half the websites, half the YouTubes, I mean, literally half, they don't fight the New World Order, folks. That's, that's too big and powerful for them. They can't imagine they could ever beat something there, even though they could. But it's easy to, to, to you know, fight with each other. They don't even really attack me. Now, I've kind of reached the point where they think they can't, you know, hurt me or whatever. And in a way, they can't because it's not true and it's so much bull. But when you're fighting globalists, and it is true, and you've got real evidence, you can hurt them. Oh, but forget trying to slay that real giant politically. Let's just all tear each other apart in a mass schizoid, you know, uh, crazy narcissist event. And it's television that's turned people into this. The brains have been wired wrong. The society is getting sick, and it's a crisis. Let's go ahead and talk to George in Texas. You're on the air. Alex. Hey, bud. Thank, thank you for everything that you're doing for us. It's so important. Well, listen, what comes around goes around, but let's be clear. I am a giving, loving person, but I'm doing this for my family. And I'm doing this because I can't control myself. I mean, when I see tyranny taking over, doesn't everybody want to go resist it? I mean, isn't that normal? I'm just saying, folks, don't thank me. It'd be like the compulsion if I was a single guy, you know, and, and, and Marilyn Monroe at her peak wanted to date me. I mean, don't thank me for dating Marilyn Monroe if I was a single guy and she's at her, you know, prime and wanted to date me. I mean, it's like, you know, don't thank me for winning the lottery here. I mean, I mean, and my point is I don't deserve to be thanked. I mean, why would I not want to fight the tyrants? You see what I'm saying? No, I do. And actually what I wanted to say was when I was growing up, I always wondered what it would be like to shake the hand of George Washington or Paul Revere. And you shook my hand and I felt it stoke the fire in my heart for liberty against tyranny. And I want to tell people that they need to understand Alex Jones is the archetypal living spirit of Paul Revere. Oh, don't go there. <laughs> I felt it. I felt it. Shaking your hand fulfilled my childhood dream. Even more than that, I knew that I was reaching out and touching the hand of freedom 
and history itself. Well, let me tell you, I mean, it humbles me. You know, I don't like doing public events. It is so humbling to see the light of liberty and the concern and how good our average listeners are. It is so humbling. It makes me want to cry. And, 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 and But it feels weird to me to have people uh, admiring me. I mean, do you see what I'm saying? It's like, that's because I just want to fight the globalist. I don't want to be... It's like George Washington. He didn't want to be president. He wanted to get out of there and go back to his beautiful farm and his family and his dogs. And I'm not saying I'm George Washington, folks. Believe me, I didn't. George Washington, you see all these Hollywood movies, Conan the Barbarian, all this stuff, and you think, oh, that's over the top. I mean, George Washington's life, the whole thing is like more over the top than a movie. And, and that's why you never see a movie about it. Or they make him look like no big deal. B because they don't want you to have an idea of how incredible it was. Like, he was in more than 50 battles where he would be up front with them shooting cannons and rifles at him, and he wasn't being killed, people all being killed around him. I mean, he was known before he even became General George Washington as, like, you know, Lucky George. You know, those guys they say have the, what do they call that in, in history in the military? The touch or uh, they're charmed. They're, they call it in the military being charmed. In fact, that's what uh, Ford Coppola talked about in... in um, Apocalypse Now, when you see the uh, army colonel walk around with the helicopters, everybody's getting killed around him and mortars are going off. And it's like everybody knows that guy's never going to get killed. And I'm telling you, George Washington could just have like 100 people shooting right at him and it would nothing would happen. I say, don't compare me to George Washington. Anything else? It's the eternal archetypal spirit that's part of everyone's destiny to fulfill. And it's like God reaches out and has certain protections for the people that are destined to fill those roles. I mean, I... There's no simpler way to explain it, but I did want to talk about something on topic uh, with, the, uh, with the DOD coming out about their lying. I actually called and talked to you right after you were on Pierce Morgan, and let me tell you, I was teared up, live teared up, when I saw you standing up for us against that hatchet man because you knew what he was. People say, oh, he should have debated. The time for debate is over. We know what you are. We know what you're going to do. We know what you're here to do. And, you know, it's really, if it was George Washington, you know, he would have pulled out a gun and blew his head off before the guy even got on his show. But uh, what I wanted to say was, is that when I called you uh, to talk about gun control, I had called CNN, the state-run media, and you stopped me and you said, that's it. That's the word that we need to use for it. And I want to say that's an archetype, too. We need to activate a very powerful archetype. When no, no, Ron kid, Paul. I actually got that from Ron Paul. Drudge had linked to that. He, he said, look, we have state-run media, and the Internet is the real media. Every, it doesn't mean we're all perfect, but we are the media. They're not the mainstream. We're not the new media. We're not the alternative media. We are the real, diverse, good, bad, ugly, trustworthy, whatever. But we're the media. We are the media. You're right. It's state-run media, and that's it. It's not the parrot media. It's not the prostitute media. It's not the traitor media. It's not the sestream media. It's not the Decepticon media. It's not the scumbag media. They are reading off globalist psyops because I mean, the army realizes it's big banks writing the real psyops. They're junior to this, and they don't like being part of it now. And I'm telling you, I know the military sources. They don't like what's happening. Who would? Everybody knows we're being conned, cheated, sold out. It just makes me so angry. What do you, why do you, have you seen our story about the Army PSYOP and, and them admitting they're a PSYOP? And what do you think's behind it? Yeah, I know what it is. It's, it's state-run media model. I mean, when I used to read newspaper articles when I was a kid, I went to private school. I was taught to think critically, and I used to read the newspaper since I was, before I was 10. And I read it all the way through growing up till right now. And I'll tell you, every time we referred to the media outside this country when, when there were communists, and tyranny all over the world. We used to put it down, and it was never called anything other than state-run media. It didn't even get a name. We didn't brand it here. It was state-run media, and we need to start calling them that over and over and over because that's what they are. You're absolutely, that will bring them down. We have state-run media that works for foreign banks that have occupied the country, and we are occupied, and, and they, they haven't shut us. They, they have occupied certain command bases and the infrastructure, but they're not occupying everything. That's the thing. They're trying a full occupation. Are we going to let them do it? No. The answer is no. God bless you. Good to hear from you. Uh, Brandon, Julio, Chris, Gabriel, everybody else, 800 259 I'm Alex Jones, your host. Don't forget PrisonPlanet.tv, Operation Awaken the Sleeping Giant.
You can get uh, 11 memberships for the price of one and share them with everybody. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. By the way, in the next hour, for part of the uh, second segment, David Knight's going to be in studio with us. And we're going to announce the third place winner of the Operation Paul Revere film contest. $115,000 in cash prizes. Third place today, second place tomorrow, first place on Wednesday. And then everybody gets paid out. We're going to uh, probably even fly the, the not just the top three winners in, but maybe the top ten or so. Won't end up getting you know any money, but... Uh, they'll be flown in to work with us to see about if they have ideas for films. Uh, because that's that's really what this contest is about, is finding out who could make a film in two months. Because, uh, you know, talk is cheap out there. Uh, and who wants to help us fight the New World Order? That's what this is really all about, is I'm, I'm trying to recruit people. Because film is the big weapon. And I'm so busy with the radio, the print, all the rest of it. Uh that I have been lacking in film production. I'm trying to make Obama Deception 2 right now while doing 100 different things, and I'm not complaining. But go to Infowars.com forward slash Paul to see the Paul Revere site, the top 35 entries, and there's a link to about 300 others. But I salute everyone who was involved. And then we'll continue with your calls uh, as well and the news I haven't gotten to yet. But we're talking about the philosophy of this country and where is it going. And when you realize that you're not going to join evil, you're not going to join the globalist, when you think about all the crimes they've committed, and I can spiritually feel it as well, uh, I want nothing to do with these people. And I must be against them and I must resist them. So it's, 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 it's a compelling, overdriving fulfillment that is a hundred times the drive for sex when you're 16 years old. It's a hundred times the drive for food when you're hungry. Uh, it is the drive for humanity to be good and to build and to be decent and to stand against corrupt scum and to not be a slave. It is totally fulfilling. It is all-encompassing. And that's where I stand. And, 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 and when you stand in that and when you stand in the presence of God's spirit then it makes you feel very humble and, and, and empowered, but also at the same time very, very weak and dirty and bad, like uh, dirty rags, as the Bible describes uh, you know, folks that were close to God, they'll feel like they had dirty rags because you realize how bad you are, and you don't like that part of you as well. And you see other people that are into their evil, and then you figure out they don't like you because you're not committed to all the things they do. They like it. Stench smells good to them. Children in pain is fun for them. And all I want to do is club their brains out. And not because I like to club brains out. It's a compulsion. I want to get my hands around their throat. You know what I'm talking about. We're the people that are strong. And we need to start acting like it. And stop being weak and letting a bunch of scum run our lives. Evil is weak. But good likes to stand back and let it run things. And that has to stop. I'm going to come back, take some calls, and we're going to get David Knight in here. We'll get David Knight in at the bottom of the hours. I want to continue with calls. I haven't been good about getting to him yet. I will. I've done pretty good. I've been pretty heavy callers today. Again, we finance this by promoting products that we think are the best that we've researched. And there's a bunch of new products in, two years in the making, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, certified non-GMO, pesticide-free whole food, the best, hundreds of incredible ingredients. Nobody else has hundreds of ingredients and is able to have it non-GMO uh, certified uh, organic because it's just it's so hard to do. But they did it. And it's available along with all the other incredible products at InfoWarsHealth.com or by calling 888-789-9277 if you want to call and get any help signing up for auto ship to get free shipping or you can sign up to be a distributor for 10 bucks and get discounts. InfoWarsHealth.com and we'll give the number out one more time for folks out there that may have missed it, 888-789-9277. And get Pro Pure Water Filters discounted with promo code WATER at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Hour number three, straight ahead, ramming speed! 
Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.